Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you some ways how to change the configuration of your Ponogotchi. I know from own experience and from reading through the internet that various people are struggling in the beginning with changing the configuration of the Ponogotchi. Either they do not know where to start or they found the right files but after changing them the Ponogotchi is not booting anymore or is not accepting the changes. So let's start with a short overview. You have two configuration or two main configuration files on the Ponagotchi. One is the config YML, that's the file which we are changing. There we do all the configuration changes. And we have the default YML, which you can check to see which options are available. And this one is yeah, new, newly created with every reboot of the Ponagotchi. So we do not change the default YML, we always change the config YML. And these changes are then applied to the default YML. If you have a new Ponagotchi, the recommendation is to start with the, yeah, with the initial configuration which you create on your Linux or Windows device. With the yeah, new config YML, you can copy it on the boot partition of your micro SD card and then insert it into your Ponagotchi and while booting the, the configuration is applied. So let's start with that one. So we copy the template just here from the from the web page, put it here into the yeah into a Notepad++ or another editor. You can add your directly your name here, the name of your Ponagotchi. You can add the networks which shall not be attacked or where no day authentication frames shall be sent. You can also add here multiple networks. So let's add a second one, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. And you can add your display. So depending on what kind of display you have, you can add it here. I have a WaveShare version two. So for me, it's already the right display. And this can then be applied or saved on the micro SD card. I recommend you that when you do any changes, use a YAML validator. That could be an online tool where you copy the configuration and verify it. Because if here are some mistakes, like for example, let's add another network here and we add a tab instead of spaces, then we will have a problem. So let's copy and paste that to the YAML validator. It will tell us, oh, there's a problem in line six. Here we have a problem. It, it, in Notepad++ it looks the same. So here we have a tab and here we have six spaces. But uh, these YAML files, only work with spaces, not with tops. So either we have four spaces or six spaces. Or in, in, that, in that case, we have two, four, or six. So depending on, on where we are in the hierarchy, and always use spaces. Otherwise, the file will not be accepted. The, yeah, also use quotes, especially for the name of the Ponagotchi for network names. Use these single quotes. Also, if you have special characters in there, they are required. So use these uh, quotes. Here we now, we will now add the spaces. One, two, three, four, four spaces. And then we are ready to go. Let's verify one last time. Okay, it's valid. And now we can save that file onto our micro SD card. Select all types, all file types, and then call the file config yml. We save that, and then we can eject the micro SD card. And I put it into the Ponagotchi. I will boot the Ponagotchi, and then I will be back with the video. So the Ponagotchi successfully booted. We see the name Wi-Fi Tube. That's the name from our config yml. And now I will show you how to do further changes via SSH. So the Ponagotchi is connected to the data port, connected to my computer. I assigned an IP address to my computer. And then we access the Ponagotchi. By default, you can access this via 10.0.0.2. The username is pi. And the password is raspberry. I told you before that there are two configuration files. They are stored in the under etc Ponagotchi. And here we see the config YML and the default YML. 
When I look into the config YML, I see exactly the changes or the, the file which we uploaded onto the micro SD card. We can change that file here, for example, with the nano editor. So let's do a sudo first, sudo nano config YML. And then we could go here and make whatever changes we need. So for example, we'll change the hostname to Wi-Fi Tube 2020, change one of the networks. And then with control X, yes, and enter, we can save the configuration. So after now rebooting the Ponagotchi, it will has the changed network in the whitelist and also the name will change. Um, but that is just a very small number of, of configurations which we touched yet. So I recommend you to, to go to the, either, either you go onto the official Ponagotchi web page, scroll through the documentation and look what configurations you want. For example, it's the um, grid plugin with special configuration. You have here the various displays. And when you scroll to the page, you see various uh, configurations like also the, the Bluetooth stuff. Here you have the Bluetooth configuration. So you can scroll to the Ponagotchi web page or you can look into the, into the default configuration. So let's do the cat uh, default YML. If you scroll through this file, you see yeah, the majority of options which are available. So for example, the language can be changed. You see various default plugins like the auto update plugin, some GPS plugins, but therefore you need additional hardware. You have online hash crack and wiggle. So plugins where you can directly upload handshakes to some online services to, to check them for cracking. We have the Bluetooth uh, plugin, Memtem, various different plugins. You can change the AI, the artificial intelligence of the Ponagotchi. You can change this Ponagotchi, the faces. You can do a lot. So that, that file is a good start point if you need some inspiration what to change. Let us now uh, do one, one further change to the config YML. Let, let us change one additional plugin. I like the, the mem, memtemp plugin. It, it shows you the utilization, CPU utilization, memory utilization. Let's add that here. We start with four spaces. Memtemp, enter, and then we have six spaces enabled true and then we we save that file with control x yes enter and then we have that here i will reboot the ponagotchi and then when we are back we shall see uh let's let's check what what do, will we see we will see a new name wi-fi tube 2020 instead of wi-fi tube and in the bottom right corner we, we will see memtemp I will reboot it now and pause the video and when I'm back, yeah, let's check it then. Okay, the Ponagotchi is back. We see the new name, Wi-Fi Tube 2020, and we see the Memtemp plugin. So let's connect again via SSH, then I will show you another option. We go back to the directory etc ponagotchi and another option would be to change the file locally on your linux or windows machine and copy it via sfdp i use filezilla um, ip address is the same and .0.0.2 username is the same pi and raspberry and the port is port 22 Then we go to the same folder, so we go to etc, Ponagachi, and from here we can copy the config YML. Yes, I want to replace the existing one which I have. And then we have here the file. And can edit it here in the in the Notepad++ again, where, where we initially changed it 
via micro SD card. But the problem with the micro SD card or with the boot uh, partition on the micro SD card, it is removed any time you boot the Ponagotchi. So yeah, you have no existing data. You will need to save it somewhere. So I like it. Yeah, I prefer to then edit it here via SFTP or via nano and SSH. So, in, but in that case, when you edit it here, you have to keep one thing in mind. So, so let's let's do another change here. So, for example, we we can change what what I like. One change that I like, we can change the folder where the handshakes are stored. So that would be better cap handshakes handshake slash handshakes because by default it's it's stored in root directory which is not so easy to access and then let's verify that again with the yaml validator go okay it's valid and now we called uh, save it and copy it back to the Ponagotchi. But here we have a problem. That file, the config YML is owned by root and we are logged in as pi. So when I now try to just copy it back, it's us, shall it be over, shall it overwrite the file? Yes, it shall. And then it fails because we do not have the right permissions. So the recommendation will be to, to change the permissions. So we are connected with SSH. Yeah, we see here the config YML. We are not not allowed to to override it to change it. So so let's change that with uh, chmod 777 to allow all and then config YML. We need uh, sudo to do that. So put a sudo in front. And after we did that, everything is allowed. And we can now copy and paste the file to the to the folder. If I now check it here, config YML, I see the changes. I see the better cap handshake change. And now, if I would reboot, the Ponagotchi will accept that. Yeah. So that that is how you can. Yeah. How you can three ways how you can change the configuration. Either you do it with a micro SD card on, on your operating system and copy it to the micro SD card, or you do it via SSH or SFTP. There's also a further option. You can change it via plugin, but I have not tested that by myself, but there's a, there's a plugin where you can just here enable and disable the various options, but I have not looked into it yet. So yeah, that's all from my side. If you're interested in further Ponagotchi or Wi-Fi videos, subscribe to my channel and yeah, have a nice evening. Bye.